Hey everybody, it's Crappie Dan. It's crankbait season. It's pulling season. Uh, Sue and I placed in the top 25 for the ACT championship pulling planer boards, offshore boards. And the one thing before you go in the water um, is check out your boards. Make sure everything is ready for use when you get out there because you don't want something not performing when you get out there because you didn't perform maintenance and check it out. One of the things is you want to make sure that this little nut that holds on this clip is tight because if it isn't tight it's going to slip around on you and then eventually it's going to come off and they have a spare on here for you with a screw that you see on the bottom here in case you lose one you can go get your spare right there while you're using them put on a new clip if you lost it and you're good to go this is for clipping on your line for the upper part for when you break it free the back one is the red one make sure that it's still got its pads on the inside and nothing is broken or wore down. Make sure your O-ring is loose to the clip and it's, it's still clipped onto your wire that runs to your flag. And that's going to tell you when you have a fish on. The other thing is a lot of flags will go ahead <clears throat> and fade with the sun. We have several of them. They do it to us all the time. Make sure that you replace it and you get new ones from offshore. And that way then everything is good. Make sure that your wires are, are turned correctly so it's holding on to the flag. And that your spring is still hooked into the board and hooked into the flag correctly. And as you can tell, I've checked this one to make sure. Because that way then you don't want this too tight. You want it to function correctly. So a little board maintenance will go a long way when you're out there fishing. And, and it will perform like you expect it to perform. Till next time, it's Crappie Dan. Check out offshore tackle cleaner boards.